The lining setup is very straightforward. It consists of the oxygen tank, the regulator, and your gas tube. We have the option of a gas reel for further distances and multiple story buildings where you don't want to drag the tank upstairs. Alternatively, there is the option to use a smaller oxygen tank for lining shorter lengths of pipe. The gas tube will link directly into the air inlet on the blue oxy tube. There is a built-in connection for a pressure gauge to monitor the pressure directly from the unit. We have a demo set up here for the oxy liner with one millimeter holes all the way along on this transparent tube and on the fittings. So this is the special oxy epoxy. For the demo we are using a non-potable epoxy which is good for all drainage and aircon overflow type systems. The tube must always be in an upright position with the outlet at the bottom. The epoxy is then poured in through the top with the pressure cap removed. The idea is that the air pressure pushes the epoxy out of the tube and through the line to the closest open point. So on a multiple point system you would open one valve at a time and the epoxy would hit the one valve and then travel to the next through all the T-pieces and fill up all the holes along the way. Whatever is containing the pipe will stop the epoxy from pushing further on and it will cure in that space. In an everyday situation, the epoxy that is pushed through the little pinholes in the corroded pipe or the burst pipe will get caught in the cavity in the containing wall or concrete or whatever medium the pipe is in, continuing to push the epoxy through the rest of the line. It's literally as straightforward as it is. Yeah. So on this demo unit, we don't have anything supporting the exterior wall of the pipe. Normally you would have your pipe in a brick wall or in concrete. This would saturate into the brick or whatever's on the external surface of the pipe and the air would just hold it in place. For the progress. Sealed, second all is sealed, 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 and all sealed, 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 all sealed, all sealed, all sealed over here. So that's that, that, that. Yeah. If it's inside a brick or cement wall, the epoxy will fold that void up and make a line from 15, 22, 28, 40 millimeter and 50. Pressurized and non-pressurized, potable and non-potable.